back to my YouTube channel. So since like a lot of you like a lot. A lot of you likes my editing style or how I basically edit my videos. Okay, so I'm gonna share to you on how I edit my videos, my editing secret. So without further ado, let's start the editing process. Yes. So, just got my notebook for my reference. Reference so that I will be on track when explaining it to you. So first of all, when I edit my videos, after I film those videos or those clips, I import them on my laptop or I use the app Share It. After I imported the clips that I took on my phone, I just use an iPhone 6. I will open Filmora. After I import the videos or whatsoever to Filmora, is I'm gonna do a rough cut. <laughs> I'm gonna change. Okay, so back to the video. After I imported those clips on Filmora, is I'm gonna drag those into the timeline and do some rough cut. So basically, it means that cutting those clips that are not important anymore or like there's no need to show that one. That is my first step on editing my videos. I do a rough cut. Okay, so after I do some rough cut on Filmora, is I'm gonna go to my phone. Okay, so my first secret, editing secret, is on how I sketch or on how I draw those animations or GIFs that I did on my past videos. What I did is I just search an inspo on Pinterest. Okay, so what I basically do in Pinterest is I just scroll searching some cute backgrounds, cute pictures to incorporate or to use on my videos. So that's my first step on doing some sketches on my video. I'm just gonna save the photo and then I'm gonna go to the app sketch app. But I'm gonna go to this app and then I'm gonna insert the photo. You will do those sketches on an individual layer. So what I basically do here is in the first layer I will insert the photo and then I'm gonna add another layer and in here I'm gonna trace the outlines of the photo of my inspo. That's my second layer. So for the color is I just use an eyedrop tool and I just use a pencil or a paintbrush and then I just adjust its size and then add another layer here i'm just gonna sketch again just make sure that there's like a small difference from the previous layer or from the previous drawing so that you will have this gif kind of effect when you're gonna do this as a gif or a video after you sketch those two layers so it depends on you if you want to make it three layers so after i sketch as i'm gonna go to one layer and then i'm gonna hide the other layers what i'm basically gonna do is i'm just gonna, gonna show the layer that I wanted to save. So I'm gonna hide the previous layers and also the background of the sketch. So you can save it as a PNG. So after I did that is I opened VLLO. For the VLLO is I'm gonna add those pictures, those transparent pictures and then adjust them into 0.13 milliseconds and I'm gonna do that on two pictures and then I'm just gonna duplicate them and duplicate until I can have a 5 to 10 seconds GIF and then what I'm gonna do is of course I'm gonna save it but another way is using a GIF app. So to do that is make sure that the background of the transparent picture or the transparent drawings, I mean the drawings, the background of the drawings is a green screen. So I'm gonna open a GIF app and then I'm gonna insert those two pictures. Remember that you will save it as a video but it still depends on you. Okay so after I do some sketches again I'm gonna import it to Filmora and then here I just add some green screens from my previous videos from my previous DIYs I just put a screen so I just downloaded it from Pinterest also find some cute backgrounds on Pinterest those computer websites something I'm just gonna save those photos also then I'm gonna go to PixArt and in here I'm just gonna import those photos I'm just gonna adjust the size and edit it more in the stickers section I'm just gonna search green screen then just adjust the size and then I'm just gonna save it to my phone and and import it to film more so basically after I do those sketches is I'm gonna add more effects to my videos okay so for my another editing secret is my music I'm gonna proceed to the music so basically okay how many times will I say basically in this video oh my gosh so I think music really changes the game well okay but music really changes the game or your videos let's try a video without music 
Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. That is without a music and with a music. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. See? So music does really change your editing game. If you're wondering, where do I get my music? I got my music on YouTube. I'm just gonna search aesthetic non-copyright music on the search bar. And then you will have those tons of videos regarding on those topics. But usually I search the artist. So if you're wondering, I usually got my music from Jeff Peel, DJ Quads, Panther. Is that how they pronounce it? But Panther. So I got most of my music and spoke from Best also, her music on her videos is so good. This one. Those are some of the music that I already use on my videos. Yeah, those are my editing secret, which will not be a secret anymore because I'm gonna share it with you guys. Last but not the least, my secret on my videos is my montage part. I think in here, I just uh, in every beat of the music is I'm gonna change a clip. Okay, hey guys, so I'm currently editing the video and I wanted to explain it further to you um, on how I do my montage. But basically on every beats of the music, I change the clip or the situation of the video. Is that how? I don't know, but I will just show it in the video, so... on Notion if, so that I will be on track when I do my videos. That's another secret of mine but yes. So that's it guys for today's video. That is how I basically edit my videos. That's it guys for today's video and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell button so you won't miss any of my videos and comment down below if what videos or DIYs you want me to do next on my videos. So Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video.